Today I'm going to be talking about the MiG-21S R-13. It is a battle rating 9.7 premium Russian jet fighter. And although it is a jet fighter in name, it actually functions perfectly as a strike aircraft in ground RB. And that's thanks to it getting a ballistic computer and these S-24 rockets. So not only do you get that, but let's go over some of the other weaponry. You get these two GS-23L 23mm cannons. They each have 100 rounds of ammunition in them for a total of 200. You have the option to bring all four of these S-24s. If you're playing Air RB, you have the uh, option to bring up to four R-3S IR missiles. They work pretty much the same as AIM-9Bs. They have 10 Gs of pull maximum. And you have R-3R radar missiles, so you can actually get uh, frontal locks on planes in Air RB. And they allow for you to really get some sneaky kills on people not paying attention, or planes that might just not have radar warning receivers to even let them know that's coming. You also have custom loadouts here, so you can do a mixture of both. You can bring R3S's and R24, or sorry, R3R's on each wing like that. You just do that and hit save, and you can select it just like this down here. For ground strike options, you have an uh, option of standard unguided bombs, 250 kilograms, or two 500 kilograms, or two incendiary bombs. So you can actually do a custom loadout mixing these with two of those. And it makes for a great AFK base bombing experience if you just want to leisurely grind out the Russian air tree and air RB. So now that I've talked about the MiG-21S's armaments, let me talk about another area that it absolutely dominates, and that is flight performance. You have the great nose authority of the MiG-21 frame, and combine that with the 10.3 battle rating MiG-21 SMT's engine to have an excellent aircraft for 9.7. I think the only other aircraft that can produce thrust similar to yours at the battle rating are going to be Milan's and J-35As, in which case this goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with them easily. And you have other perks like your radar missiles to combat those aircraft with. So now that we've talked about all the things that make this plane great, let's talk about what makes it uh, struggle. It's one con, as I would say. Uh, it does not have countermeasures. So at 9.7, that is somewhat a big deal because you are going to have lots of missiles fired at you. I would say the main thing you have to watch out for in this aircraft is A-10s that are equipped with AIM-9L all aspect missiles that can pull 30 Gs. My strategy for combating these is basically just to stay far away from the A-10 pack at all times. Off the start of the game, you can go high, climb left in Air RB, and just try to dive behind the A-10 pack, get some kills, and then just get out of there using your excellent uh, thrust. That is going to be the key to this plane. It's just avoiding all things that have all aspect missiles, because that will be your one weakness. If you So overall, it is a fantastic plane. Highly recommend looking out for it when it's 50% off in the upcoming December sale. And thanks for watching this. Enjoy the following gameplay.
forces have captured a zone. 